Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will explore the file upload component from Andesign. We will see how we can convert it into the drag and drop and how we can select single or the multiple files. Also, we will see how we can customize the progress bar or the loading and how we can show the uploaded files or uh, the erroneous files. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using Andesign and right now it is showing only a div which is uh, using a style of flex the display flex and setting everything uh, over the page All right so let's go ahead and import the upload component from end design and use it so inside the upload uh, whatever we want to show to the user uh, we can return a react component here so suppose uh, we want to uh, show the upload text in that case we can say suppose in a p tag the upload and here you go it is showing the upload and if i click on it it will act like an uh, uh, upload file right and uh, let's change it to a button so that uh, when i hover on it it shows uh, the most that it is in action so we can choose a button from the end design right okay button I, and then i can select it uh, here i'm showing a few thumbnails uh, from some of my videos <coughs> okay so it this is how it looks like uh, right now it's trying to upload it uh, but we have not uh, added any action on which uh, action url on which we want to upload so we will say the action to be any of the URL. So suppose we want to say HTTP and localhost on port 3000. Although it will not upload uh, on this page, uh, on this URL, but uh, let's mimic uh, how uh, you will be adding an a URL on which you want to upload it. So in reality you will be uh, setting here the actual url on which you want uh, this file to be uploaded right okay so save it if i refresh so nothing changed right and here we are only showing the upload even we can show maybe the drag the files here or uh, uh, click on the button to upload so in that case maybe you can say here that drag files uh, here or click upload right and maybe we can just add a br here the idea here is that we, you can return anything, uh, any React component from here that you want to be shown to the user uh, for uploading, right? And uh, for drag and drop uh, files, you can uh, use a dragger component uh, from the upload. So here you go, drag files here or click upload, right? So now even I click on it and it will select or even I can uh, drag my files so if I select suppose few files and drag on it it will show dragged files but right now it don't it only accept uh, one file so I dragged multiple files but it, it only accept one file so to accept multiple files you we have to add a multiple is equal to true or only the multiple prop so now it will now you can even uh, select it from here multiple files and it will show here right and on the bottom it is showing uh, like in a list and we can change this to other types so that is list type yeah list type right now it is showing the text and we can show even the maybe the picture this is how it shows so the the thumbnails we are uh, trying to upload it is showing uh, as a preview and we can even delete those right 
it was for some reason we want to hide this uh, delete icon so that suppose some user can delete it and some uh, uh, should not be allowed to delete the files so in that case we can override uh, the show upload list and we can sh say show remove icon to false right so it will hide the uh, remove icon and no user cannot delete it and we can make it true suppose for the user who has uploaded and that can uh, delete as well so we can uh, make this uh, true or false based on some of our conditions right so let's show it so suppose if you want to uh, add any uh, checks like only maybe the jpeg files can be uploaded or the png can be uploaded or maybe the docs can be uploaded so in that case we can say the accept only the types which has uh, maybe dot png ext extension so if i click uh, save this click on it so you see all of the, the jpeg so nothing can be selected right so now if i uh, come back and say the png as well as jpeg as well as dot dog can be accepted accepted so now if i click on it so no these are available right and if you want to further uh, add few checks on it that only the file which have this much of size can be uploaded right so that is uh, you can add another use another prop before upload and here uh, you will get a file which is which user has selected and and if from this function if you return on the files this file will not be uploaded so suppose here uh, let's console it uh, the file for now and in the file it will contain the size and other parameters as well so you can check if the size is um, within our limits and things like that then you can return true otherwise you can return false and this file will not be uploaded and even here you can uh, show a error message to the user uh, to i mean remove that error right so let's refresh and inspect show the console so if i select any file so here you see uh, it has a, a usual id assigned and the name of the file and the the size and you can uh, add your checks on this uh, this size that if, if it is in, in our limits and things like that even you can add a check on the this type as well also suppose in, in some scenarios you want to show the already uploaded list of files here uh, so suppose uh, a user has uploaded few files on the server and want to upload uh, more or may, even maybe you want to delete some of those and replace with the, uh, the existing ones so in that case you can uh, show the existing files so it has two props one is file list and one one is default file list default file list will be uh, shown will be the list list of the files that you want to show uh, when the component loads and the file list is is the even the uh, will be shown even even, even on the re render of the component so if in the uh, in the for default file list we want to say it is uh, here we need to give us uh, give give that uh, the same sort of props that uh, we get when we upload a image here so it should contain a uid maybe we can say bc and name maybe existing file dot png and then uh, uh, maybe the url uh, we can say https of course the the url we are giving here is not correct so uh, it will not show that much okay so here you go this two file that png and the url is not correct so it is not populating its thumbnail right so 
okay so also uh, you can even uh, for this file maybe we can say that what is the status of this file so we can say either it will done in error or moved or it is uploading so suppose we say it is uploading and we can even uh, say the percent how much percent it is uploaded so maybe the 50 percent refresh so here you go the 50 percent and here you can even customize this this uh, this loading icon and uh, this card as well so if you want to customize this loading icon we can say the icon render uh, could be uh, we can say return maybe the spin component uh, from the end design right here you go and if you want to customize this whole uh, this uh, this whole Im uh, image card so th that can also be done uh, we can say render item render right yep and that will be suppose we want to say that image right so here you go so whatever you wanna uh, show here you can show so here we will be passed uh, the old or maybe the uh, existing whatever was whatever the component uh, was rendered by the end design so we can say existing component and also we will pass the file so based on this file we can render whatever we wanna uh, show here right so suppose we want a from the file uh, we wanna say file dot name right here you go the system file dot png right so you you can return anything uh, from here so let's comment out this one okay and also you can even customize this uh, progress bar so that will be uh, the progress and in that progress we can say uh, the stroke width maybe we can say three a little larger right and even we can say the stroke color uh, we can say that if it is zero percent then maybe hash f zero f and when it is 100% then maybe we can say hash f f0 so things like that here you go right so as as long as it is uh, increasing uh, it will go from this pinkish to uh, yellowish color right also you can even more style it uh, by providing the different styles here you can say uh, their style you can say top maybe 12 so looks good yep and it's uh, let's add few files so this is the existing one and then these are the files i have uh, uploaded right so why this is not showing red because uh, we are returning false here and uh, before upload and it will not try to upload these files so if i return true here it will not try to upload the files and uh, it will show them red because there is an error right here you go uh, this dragger component or the file upload component also accepts uh, the disabled prop so suppose for, for, for some of the users uh, you want to disable it so then in that case user won't be able to uh, upload the files and even if I try to drag and drop a few files it won't be allowed right all right so that's it on exploring the upload or the upload dragger component from the end design. 
if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you